Hey guys, welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you guys my reptiles collection. Not the entire collection, but I think this is like close to like 80 to 90% of my reptiles collection. Okay, so let's get right into it. At the bottom of this box, I've also compiled some African animals to show you guys. So let's go. Okay, so let's begin. I think this one, I'm not too sure whether you guys have already seen this. This is basically like a remote control, um, you know, crocodile. But I don't have the remote control, but I can actually listen to it raw. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cute. It can also light up. Yeah, but we don't have the remote to actually control its movement. Uh, I'll be showing you guys really soon, probably on Saturday. Next, um, there'll be some turtles, but I don't think we have plenty of turtles in this collection because I didn't prepare the sea reptiles to show you guys. Okay, so right over here, we do have a um, Galapagos adult tortoise. I think this is the only tortoise in today's video, okay? Next, we have an alligator with some babies right on top, as you guys can see. I think this figure is a really cool one. Um, it's actually quite soft. The small little alligators right, right here you can see there are like stripes on his body so I'm not too sure whether real alligator babies actually have stripes I have no idea but if you guys know let me know down below but yeah this is a very very cool uh, little figure right here Next we have a Komodo dragon okay this one I think has got to be one of our most realistic um, figures in our collection yeah I, we got this like a couple of years back I really love this a lot okay moving on this it's a um relatively new um alligator no yeah alligator um figure if you guys can take a look um between the alligator and crocodile one way to differentiate it is basically by the snout so the crocodile which is right over here um has a narrower more triangular snout as compared to the um, alligator which has a more rounded snout okay it is wider as well so this is an alligator okay um let's move on and take a look at our next reptile which is a um chameleon this is actually a veiled chameleon baby um veiled chameleon babies i mean veiled chameleons they actually have a very long and sticky tongue that they can actually use to um catch a spray so this one right here is actually an adult chameleon Really beautiful one, I must say, yeah. Okay, let's move on and take a look at another reptile. Um, right here, we have an iguana. Iguanas are actually quite common in many countries, especially of um, Asian countries. There are plenty of countries in, uh, I mean, <laughs> plenty of iguanas in my country as well, yeah. I've seen iguanas like, you know, just in front of my doorstep. It's really common. Okay, let's move on. Um, let's take a look, let, let me see. How about this one? Okay, this is actually a bearded dragon. I think it's a really beautiful um, lizard. So it basically gets its name from the beard looking pouch right over here. So it is why it's known as a bearded dragon. I think they are really beautiful reptiles. Um, let's see what else we've got. Um, what about, let's take a look at, okay, let's take a look at another Komodo dragon. So basically, Komodo dragon, the saliva, it's, I mean, the bite is actually quite venomous. So once you're bitten by a Komodo dragon, um, after a few hours, I mean, even for some animals, they will just pass away because it, they're quite poisonous, okay? Um, let's move on and take a, oh, we do have another, um, you know, turtle right here. This is actually, okay, not a turtle. It is actually a desert tortoise. So desert tortoise are, I mean, like smaller in size, but they can also live up to like 100 years old. Yeah, which is very, very cool. Um, yeah, let's move on and take a look at another crocodile right over here. Is this a crocodile or an alligator? Let's take a look at the snout. Yes, it is a very narrow and triangular snout. It is a crocodile, okay? This one right here, uh, it's really hard to tell. It's probably uh, a crocodile as well because it's quite triangular, but uh, you know, I, I don't really know because some of the figures, they're not really accurate. But this one is definitely a uh, Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon, they're native to Indonesia. You can actually find them in the mountains of um, Su Sumatra, if I'm not wrong. Okay, um, let's move on. We do have a very, very cute and adorable snake. This is actually an electronic snake. Um, it can actually move, okay? You turn this on right here. 
I mean, I can't really show you guys right here um, because it, it is it needs to be on flat surface, so I can't really show you guys. So apologies for that. Okay, let's move on and take a look at um. Let's see. I'm gonna put the Komodo dragons in this box. Okay, otherwise we might have, don't have enough space for all the snakes. Okay, right here we actually have a rough tree green snake. Okay. It is actually just named as a coit snake below, but it is indeed a rough tree green snake. It's a beautiful one. Um, I think they feed on little animals like birds, um, insects as well. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we do have some African animals right below. So here we have a giraffe. I think this figure um, is a really nice figure. It looks very, very accurate. Um, do you guys know that giraffes they can actually like you know fight against another giraffe using the neck and it's called necking yeah okay let's move on what do we have right here collared lizard um i don't have much facts about this but you can see this lizard looks so beautiful i mean i really love lizards i mean especially the colorful ones they look very interesting okay here we have a um lizard which is native to australia um this is known as the fruit neck lizard it comes with this frill which you know resembles the dilophosaurus from jurassic park if you guys have watched jurassic park i mean i'm a huge fan of jurassic world and jurassic park if you guys do not know okay right over here i think this is a constrictor amazon tree boa okay amazon tree boa they also feed on birds and um little animals okay it's a really beautiful snake next we have a king cobra yes this is a cobra and cobras there are over 270 species out there guys i'm not kidding you 270 different species some species are able to spit venom up to like eight feet away oh we have another komodo dragon in case you guys do not know i love komodo dragons i mean i don't dare to pat them on what but i really love komodo dragons because they remind, they remind me of um, dinosaurs. Yeah, they look like dinosaurs to me. Next, we have a Sightwinder um, Rattlesnake. Yep, Sightwinder's Rattle... Sightwinder Snake. Okay, I wouldn't call it a Rattlesnake, but it has a, um, a tail that we can actually rattle, so I think it is technically a Rattlesnake as well. Another reptile guys, okay, this is actually a red ear slider. It is actually I wouldn't call this a sea animal because they do like love to be on land um, And they do like to be in water as well. So I would say that, you know Red ear sliders are bas basically known as terrapins. I have two of them. I'm trying to get them like a new tank I'll probably make a new video of it when the tank arrives. I'll do a short video to show you guys, okay? My red my two red ear sliders Okay, so right here it's actually what we have as which is known as um, an albino Burmese python. You can see, you know, the pigmentation is actually very, very light. Okay. Here we have a um, crocodile again. Okay, another crocodile. I love crocodiles as well because they remind me of um, um, dinosaurs. As you guys know, okay, this is this one is another crocodile. We have a coit snake. I have no idea what breed is this, what species this is. I mean, if you guys know, let me know down below as well, okay? Here, we have a cute version of the um, fruit neck lizard. Let's try this. I think it can still run on this surface. Check this out. It's really cute. I mean, this surface is carpet, so it can't really run fast, but it's still super adorable, right? Yeah, super adorable. I love them. Okay, let me put this into the um, box. You can see this box is like getting very, very packed. Okay, next we have a hippopotamus. I mean, it's not a reptile for sure. It is um, an African animal. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We have a brown snake, which is native to Australia. This, it's a, um, what is this? Haunt lizard. You can see it has plenty of horns behind the head. Okay, and this is another um, haunt lizard. Okay, this it's a Nile crocodile, a crocodile that you can actually find at the, the Nile River. 
we have a white alligator yep a white alligator and it is actually not albino it is actually leucistic which is another condition okay we have a hipp hippopotamus calf a baby hippopotamus i think they look super adorable what is this this is actually the uh, mascot of the brand um, safari ltd um it is known as brody brody the crocodile if i'm not wrong was it alligator i think it should be alligator yeah i think so i'm not too sure another snake right over here and um this is actually the boa constrictor they can actually swallow its prey on the hole i mean on its hole yep very very powerful um i mean body mechanism right there to be able to swallow its prey Right here, we have a small little species of crocodile known as a caiman. Okay, so I've actually seen some of them. They are like just a meter long. And another tortoise. Giant tortoise. Giant tortoise, I think they can live up to like 100 to even 200 years old. I think very soon I'm going to be doing like a complete reptiles collection, including some turtles as well. Okay, I think we should do that. Maybe including some prehistoric marine reptiles. We have a um, gorilla. I almost said Godzilla. Okay, we have the mountain gorilla. A beautiful rhinoceros right over here. Okay, this is more. I think this should be an African rhinoceros. A cobra figure, guys. Okay, so this is also a king cobra. I really love this um, figure because it seems like it is trying to intimidate the prey or its opponent. Another bearded dragon, a small little version. It's really adorable. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We have an okapi, which is also known as the unicorns of Congo. And another giraffe. Okay, so basically, what I've told you guys just now was that giraffes they love to engage each other in this kind of action. It's called necking. It's actually pretty loud because I've actually seen two giraffes fighting against each other using their neck. The sound was terrifying. It was really, really loud. Another rhinoceros. Okay, it's a beautiful figure. Elephant. I I know one fact about the elephants. They actually use their feet to communicate with one another by stamping the ground. And um, they can also feel you know, the sounds and the vibrations that the other elephants are making so they can basically talk through vibrations and stamping of the feet which is kind of um, amazing I guess another really beautiful rhinoceros Hippopotamus, one of the most aggressive animals out there yes, I'm not kidding you, Hippopotamus um, I mean, they don't really eat other animals but they are very ferocious They, they there have been quite a number of attacks recorded, even more attacks than lions on people, on humans. Okay, as compared to lions, hyenas. We have a couple of hyena figures in our collection. I think only like three of them. So we have three hyenas, and do you guys know that hyenas they actually hunt in um, packs, and they do have very good teamwork. You know, a strong group of hyenas can also take down like a lion. Which is kind of um, amazing. Another black coit snake. This is known as a um, coral snake and it is actually a baby. This one is actually a baby. Oh, another tortoise. I'm quite surprised that we have so many tortoises in today's video. So, this is, um, I think, this is a giant tortoise. I, I think. I'm not exactly sure because the name is not written below. Elephant. Um, we have a pygmy. Hippo calf, adorable. I call this a black-headed snake because I have no idea what exactly is the breed of it. Um, this is known as a corn snake. You can easily recognize this um, by its colors, orangey and a really beautiful colors. Another giraffe seems like we have three giraffes figures in our collection. Oh, another tortoise, and um, this time it is a desert tortoise. I think we have two. Exactly the same figures. And Okapi. A mandrill, yes, uh mandrills, they do remind me they do remind me of baboon. Yeah, just not a baboon. Ostrich. 
why is the ostrich, ostrich doing in this collection? Mm, okay, I think it's fine. Uh, we do have another rhinoceros, but this is actually a Sumatran rhinoceros, which can be found in um, Indonesia. So it's not exactly an African animal. Rhinoceros. Hippopotamus. African civet cat. Civet, um, there's no cat to it, I, you know, beg your pardon. The rhinoceros cat looks so cute. I think this has got to be our cutest and most adorable figure in our collection. Oh, hold on, hold on a minute. Okay, check this out, guys. This is a baby giraffe and a baby go uh, gorilla, and both of them are equally adorable as well. So I'm not too sure whether the um, um, the baby rhinoceros is the cutest. I'm not too sure. So it's up to you guys to decide. So this is an African wild dog. I've actually watched a um, documentary on, you know. African wild dogs, so they basically hunt in a pack as well. Yeah, they are very like you know they look after each other really well. And the documentary I watched was quite sad because, you know, the pack leaders were unable to get food for a couple of days, and the baby baby dogs, I mean the puppies, okay, the African pup African wild dog puppies, they were stuffed for days. It was very very um you know heartbreaking. But in the end, they managed to, um, you know, capture a prey, and the entire pack of wild dogs had food to eat. So it was very, very heartwarming at the end. So um, this is a pygmy hippo. So previously, I've shown you guys a pygmy hippo calf. So this is basically the adult version. So I've actually just seen them. They actually live in reverse. Yeah, they live in the reverse. They don't exactly swim. I mean, they don't exactly swim. They just like paddle in the water. Very, very interesting. Okay, next up, we have another snake right over here, okay? That's our last figure of the day. Okay, we do have another one, which is a um, baby kangaroo. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.